This is just a quick little video discussing how to rewrite expanded logs as a single log using the properties. So as a reminder, our properties are we have the product to sum, the quotient to difference, and the exponent out front. Now a lot of these we're going to be using in reverse. We're going to be going from here to here, here to here, and here to here. So let's take a look at ours. First thing you need to do is anything that's out in front of a log needs to be written as an exponent. So right here, this needs to become log. We're going to put that exp that as an exponent, log of 2 cubed. The exponent's going to go up front, so we have log of x squared. And this one's going to go up front. And now you could put it up there as a negative 1 half and change this to a positive, or just put it up as a 1 half and leave it as minus. You're going to get the same answer either way, so minus log. And this is going to be x squared plus 4 to the 1 half, or square rooted. Because a one half power is the same thing as a square root. Now, now we can go ahead and write these as products or quotients. Now, if it's plus, it's a product. So, we we're going to go ahead and we're going to write this all as a single log. So, if it's plus, it goes on top. If it's minus, it goes on bottom. Two cubed. We could actually write that out as eight. So that's our two cubed times x squared. So that's using the product on these. And because this one is subtracted, it goes in the denominator. So square root of x squared plus 4. And there we've taken that expansion and contracted it into a single log using our properties.